He never thought execution would be so difficult. He's been into his plan almost a year, and if he's honest with himself, not much has really changed. His people aren't stupid or lazy or defiant. They are busy with what they call the real work. And it takes so much of their energy simply to maintain the operation that the day job of the whirlwind suffocates the activities needed to execute on the plan. He has also made the mistake, like most ambitious leaders, of trying to pursue too many goals at the same time. As the numerous priorities become jumbled within the whirlwind, his people lose sight of where they stand. They measure everything, but the numbers are after the fact, lag measures. He feels like he's driving his car by looking out the rear view mirror. His managers spend their day either battling the whirlwind or praying over lag measures. So his people return to their day job, having lost sight of the strategy they are clearly playing not to lose rather than playing to win. Actually, he's not a bad leader, but he is losing to the whirlwind. There are rules for executing in the face of the whirlwind, and unknowingly, he is ignoring those rules. But they are not ignoring him. We're Franklin Covey, and we've spent the last 10 years perfecting the art of execution. There are rules for executing in the face of the whirlwind, four of them to be exact.